Hello, I'm Dr. Basil Considine. I'm here from the ACU Online Writing Center, and I wanted to say a special word of welcome to our nursing students. I have worked in higher education for a good long while, and my particular specialty is orienting students to the writing expectations that you encounter in your program and helping guide your way through to and including your final project. So whether you're here as a BSN student who is looking down the road at a DMP or you have arrived with your MSN in hand and you're working on your Doctor of Nursing Practice degree directly, welcome to ACU. We're very happy to have you here. And we're also very excited about all the things that we know that you will be doing. And so because of those exciting things that we know and want you to be working on sooner rather than later, we want to make sure that you get through the program in a timely fashion. Because although there are many different reasons that may have brought you here, we know that working as a nurse and working as a nurse leader are things that will all be easier to do with your degree in hand. One of the things that the Online Writing Center does is we work with students throughout the process we can work with you just starting the program with answering questions that you have about what to do or what sorts of expectations might be different from your previous studies. You can send us drafts of papers. You can send us complete papers. Uh, some students will even, after they get feedback on assignment, come back to the writing center and say, okay, if I do this, does this what the professor seems to be looking for? And that's okay. Every student is allowed to come to the writing center up to two times per day. Now, if your needs or wants are more than that, there are a few avenues that you can get additional feedback, including we have an institutional subscription to tutor.com through which you can get up to 10 hours of writing support free of charge per semester. Some students also will elect to hire a tutor on their own. That's usually something where you just really want to be in the same room as the other person, and that's fine. Uh, there is a host of different support resources that you can mobilize. And just as with our patients, where we want to make sure that they get the care that they need and the care that they want, that we look at this as saying, okay, so you might go to a clinic and to a hospital for different services. If what you're looking for needs more than just us, there's no conflict of interest there. We just want to make sure that you are doing your own writing, that you understand the particular expectations here at ACU, and that uh, any feedback that you get from anyone is informed by knowing that we use APA style here at ACU. And that can be a very different sort of writing than if you were say in an English program where you'd probably be using MLA, the Modern Language Association style system. Or if you're in a humanities department where you were using Chicago manual style. And that's more than just how it looks. It's a kind of way of presenting information, of supporting your argument and how you use citations is, is uh, shall we say, more explicit in APA style. And we have lots of webinars that talk about these different things that will help acculturate you. Uh, just like when you're starting at a new job, they wouldn't expect that you go to one brief 30 minute orientation and then you would know everything. There'd, there'd be a continuous onboarding program to get you oriented to all the special expectations of that place. Same thing here at ACU, we have a lot of different things. So let's talk a little bit about appointments a little bit, and then we'll talk about webinars. So every student, as I mentioned, can come to the Writing Center for up to two appointments per week. Those are free of charge. Uh, some of our peer universities do charge a, a fee. It averages somewhere around $60 per hour. It's included as a perk as a benefit of being a student at ACU, we do not charge extra for that. Now, if you are looking to get feedback, you have two options from us. One is to 
sign up for an appointment. And the other is to just send us an email with the details of what you're looking for. Now, if you want more than a little bit of feedback, definitely sign up for an appointment. For an appointment, most students come to us for what we call asynchronous appointments. That is to say, you sign up for appointment slot. By the time that appointment slot comes around, you upload your paper and any special questions or requests. And then within 24 hours, normally we'll send you an email with feedback. Now, if you want to talk with someone via phone or real time Zoom appointment, just send us an email to online writing center at acu.edu and give us a range of dates and times, and that will help us match up our team with your availability. If you just send us, say, uh, Tuesday at 12 p.m. and it's Tuesday at 10 a.m., you know, that's a little bit short notice. So earlier is better than later and uh, more choices are better than just one option. But, uh, you know, send us what you have and we'll see how we can match up with that. Now, sometimes you might have just a quick question like, oh, am I citing this correctly in APA? Or, uh, oh, is this as a good way of getting rid of passive voice say? And if you have a question like that, yeah, you can just fire off an email to online writing center at acu.edu. That goes to our team. So wh whoever's reading that at that particular time can respond to you. And uh, if some people will fire off, if you know, three or four questions like that in the course of an assignment, and that's fine. Uh, some if you have an appointment, you can batch those into that appointment. But yeah, if you just have a couple of specific questions, not a problem to send us an email. All right, so what if you have uh, something where you have a technical question? Well, that's fine. Just tell us everything that uh, comes to mind. You know, if it's with the particular program or you're, you're trying to integrate uh, Zotero, which is a citation management thing with Microsoft Word, well, you know, we can answer some basic questions, but we will also refer you to our library staff who are the Zotero experts at ACU. They use it most, they teach classes on it, and so they will be better equipped, but don't worry about that. We can still refer you and get you to the right person. All right, so a few more things there. So we have many assignments that you'll be doing during your time at ACU, and they will scale up in terms of the length and the depth that you're expected to do as well as the expectations for fidelity, accuracy in terms of APA style and uh, you know, writing quality. So just like you start on the job, they expect that you know, you'll be asking a lot of questions for the first couple of weeks and that gradually you will be more independent to be able to just do things without additional supervision. That's kind of how the program works. And that's true of any online degree program. The expectations rise as you go along because you are acquiring more familiarity with the subject matter and the particular way that things are done in this program, just as it would be on the job. And to help you out with that, we have a variety of resources that are available for you that we have prepared just for this. And at this moment, we're going to take a trip over to the Online Writing Center website. So if you go to the Online Writing Center website, that is blogs.acu.edu, and you head over to Services Writing Webinars, we have not only the schedule of all the webinars that are coming up this term, and we add new ones every term, but there's also a sorted catalog here of all of our webinars that are associated with specific courses. Now, if you just want to browse and see everything, scroll further down and we have a full alphabetical catalog of all the webinar recordings that are available. But most of the time, you're probably more interested in specific things like, oh, all of our nursing classes of our associated webinars are here. And you can see that we have some non-specific elements that you'll be working on during your degree, as well as specific course tie-ins. 
So if you're in nursing 612 here, for example, we'd see that we have a number of webinars that are tagged specifically because they relate to assignments. So for example, there's one assignment in nursing 612 where you're taking output from SPSS, sorry, from SPSS, and you are formatting in a particular way. And we show you exactly how to do that in Word step by step. So if you're taking that class, absolutely, you can and watch the video there anytime you want. And some students will go through and they will mark their calendar so that they know, oh, I am doing that week two assignment. So I'm going to mark my calendar to watch the video related to that specific assignment on the Monday or Tuesday that's starting a new week. And that way it's like just in time delivery for retail. Uh, you want it right before you need it. Now you can see we have some classes that have just specific assignments where we've identified, oh, there were a lot of questions or perceived needs. Sometimes those are from student requests. Sometimes it's faculty requests that we add those. Sometimes we see, oh, there's just a lot of questions. Let's do something there. You can request a webinar if there's a topic you're especially interested in. We're adding new ones all the time. But uh, this will give you an idea of what's out here now. And for anything that's coming up, just look at the schedule for the fall. So for example, if you were enrolled in Nursing 655, you can see, oh, we have a brand new webinar recording that's going to be released on Tuesday, October 19th. And so you can mark your calendar to go check for that, for example. Or perhaps you might be enrolled in Nursing 703. See, oh, uh, there is a webinar coming up for the week seven final project. And so you can mark your calendar. All right, I want to look at that and see what can be done. Now to access the webinar, as you can see in this catalog, we give you the slides so you can download those, those, print them out if you like, mark them up, and you can watch a video. In some cases, we've taught the webinar more than once. And because of student questions, the actual content of the webinar may vary a bit. Um, great example of that. So once you move into the dissertation area, you might be looking at this tab. You're planning your final project, your doctoral project. Um, often it's a quality improvement project, but it could be more of a research study. And so we have specific elements that we have webinars focused on. Uh, for example, here's one for Zotero for managing all your references. And if you wanted to watch a video specifically about how to edit your DMP project draft. We've got one on that. We have ones that focus on specific things like PICO questions. And so in this case, uh, because the PICO is something that you write earlier in your, your BSN to DMP or DMP coursework, you might want to peek ahead and look at this because we talk about the wording and how the ways that you narrow down your question and make it more specific are ultimately things that help you write a more manageable study and finish in the uh, budgeted time rather than having to take, say, an extra year or two. So we do want you to write a good project to find uh, something that is worthy of study and to do uh, action research that can lead to improving something. Uh, but we also understand that there's some things where the first step is a pilot and you can do that pilot for this project. And then after you've graduated, you can continue the research. So there are many different focused webinars on that. And if your professor says, oh, uh, I want you to work on your literature search section, well, we've got a webinar on exactly that, that tells you how to find things and some where we've cooperated with the library to talk about how to find different sources. Perhaps you're writing an annotated bibliography and so you want to watch a webinar on exactly that thing. Or just you're trying to determine what kind of research design and wondering how to write about that. And so 
you might be going to the specific webinar. Now, as we add new webinars that have specific course tie-ins, again, we do update not only this calendar of what's coming up, but once it's been offered, we add it to the sorted list here, as well as the master alphabetical list that's at the bottom of this page. So that is one resource that is available to you. Another thing is you can go ahead and look in our resources section. We have things related to APA 7. For example, there is a course paper template that will save you a lot of time for formatting your document. We even have videos showing you how to use that. And let's say you're doing a SWOT analysis. Well, we've got an example of how to format your table for that in APA style. There's once you start working on your DMP project, we've got a dedicated template for that again with a video. And there are also various resources. If you did your last degree in APA 6 edition and you want to watch a video about that, well, we've got something for that, as well as some other tips that you might be delving into. Now, the most common situation with our DMP students is that you've been studying and then working for a while. And uh, so, you know, the, the particulars of APA style, you may have used it earlier, or you may have used ANA formatting as part of your earlier studies. Or if you came through a different di discipline for your undergrad, you may have used something entirely different. And so what we usually recommend that students do is that you go ahead and start out by just giving yourself an orientation. So you are reminded of some of the basics and uh, are informed about some of the expectations that will be applying in your courses. So I'm going down to the master catalog here, the alphabetical list here. And down under I, you'll find that we have various specialized webinars like Intro to APA 7th Edition. This is a one hour crash course in APA style. And because it's taught a little bit differently depending on who the instructor is, a number of my students have said that they will watch the, the various videos here as they're reinforcing this or they'll listen to it in the car as they're driving. Please don't look at the screen while you're driving, but we explain things verbally so you can certainly listen to it as you go. We also have intro to graduate writing in APA style. So if you've just arrived in your DMP program and you're just wanting to make sure you understand what's being asked of you, the way that you're expected to write and so forth, this is a great one. It touches on some of the APA style, but not as in, in great a detail as the dedicated webinar. All right, so let's go back to that catalog sorted by program. So if we head over to nursing DNP, you see, all right, so there's some general ones and the problem of interest comes up very quickly, whether you're a BSN to DNP or whether you're uh, just coming in for the postgraduate DNP degree. And we have a special one for helping navigate that transition from working as a nurse and doing all the professional writing you do there on the job to writing as a DMP student. And then we start diving into the specific assignments. All right, so what if you want to sign up for an appointment? Well, I'm a, an administrator here, so my process is slightly different. If you are um, arriving as a student and you want to sign up for an appointment, you want to begin with the um, my.acu portal because uh, we have integrated WC online so that you sign in with your ACU username and password and then you don't have to worry about having multiple ones to juggle. Now after you've signed in through that portal you will end up at signed in. Now let me just sign in myself. And you'll end up here. 
you can see there's a schedule, there are various appointments that are free. And let's say that uh, you're looking at your week one assignment list and say, oh, I've got a discussion post and I'd like to get some feedback on that. Well, you can uh, peek ahead and say, well, I've written up a draft early. I'd like to schedule an appointment with Julie. And so you just click on a slot that's free. You can select the appointment length. So yeah, you can do up to an hour normally and say, okay, you know, this is just a discuss discussion post. I'm going to request a half an hour and then paste in the link to the assignment, any special requests, tell us who the professor is. And uh, if you have made more than one appointment for the week, just let us know so we know to look in the right place where you're going to upload it. Answer any other things that you want and hit create appointment. Now you see these links up here. These links will take you to the Writing Center Canvas site for the week. And you can use these to upload a draft for a first appointment, draft for a second appointment. If you have any trouble with that, just send us an email at onlinewritingcenter.acu.edu and we can help you out there. And again, we have videos about how to navigate through this. So don't worry about it. If you're having any trouble, just send us an email uh, and we can point you to the right point in the process. Uh, I'd say most students, most likely a problem that you might have in the first week is just remembering that you do need to upload your appointment and that you are normally signing up for an asynchronous appointment. And to do a real-time appointment, you will just want to send us an email. So if you mix those up, not a problem. When I see that someone's paper draft is missing, I just send a quick email. And if you send it right to me, no big deal. Uh, I can give you feedback on that. Uh, if you are wondering, you know, should I sign up for half an hour appointment or a one hour appointment? Uh, that's a question for you, but generally think of terms of length. If you have a two page paper, yeah, 30 minutes should be a great for that most times. If you have a 10 page paper, yeah, I'd sign up for the hour. And as you go through the program and you start writing papers that are longer and you want to submit that for feedback, just keep keep that in mind that there's only so much that can be read and commented on and in an appointment. So if you're working on, say, your doctoral project, yeah, just tell us, oh, could you please start at page 15? And then for your next appointment in the week, you can say, oh, I got feedback on this already. Could you please start at page 25? Then that's fine. All right. Let us start uh, wrapping things up because this is your brief orientation to the Writing Center. So let's recap. The Writing Center, we're happy to work it with you at any point in the process. You can sign up for appointments directly online. You can go to the uh, Writing Center website and watch recordings of our webinars, sign up for our webinars. You can uh, search if there are things for your particular assignment. And if in doubt about anything, whether it's a question or not being able to navigate something or just uh, trying to schedule a real time appointment because you'd like to ask someone questions and do that back and forth thing in real time, just send us an email at online writing center at ACU. So welcome again to the ACU family. We're happy that you're here and I look forward to working with you in your time here. Have a good one.